Good morning, fourth graders. I'm so excited to share a passion of mine with you today. As many of my Northeastern Huskies know, I love to read books, and I especially love to read books that I've downloaded from the library. I have an app called Libby, <clears throat> excuse me, and Libby is an app that allows me to download books instantly, and these are books that I can either read on my tablet or I can listen to in my earbuds. Cool girl, cool girl. The book I've selected for us to read is called The 14th Goldfish. I thought that this book looked really cool. It had great reviews, and the author's name is Jennifer, so it felt like a no-brainer. I'm going to go through and read this one chapter at a time. There are quite a few chapters. If you're interested, you can follow along on our journey, um, and hopefully that you are as enthralled with this book as I am. <clears throat> There's an introductory quote that Jennifer, the wonderful author, has included, and it says, you cannot teach man anything. You can only help him discover it in himself. Galileo Galilei. Chapter one, Goldie. When I was in preschool, I had a teacher named Star Lily. She wore rainbow tie-dye dresses and was always bringing in cookies that were made with granola and flax and had no taste. Star Lily taught us to sit still at snack time, sneeze into our elbows and not eat the Play-Doh, which most kids seem to think was optional. Then, one day, she sent all of us home with a goldfish. She got them at a ten-for-a-dollar pet store. She gave our parents a lecture before sending us off. The goldfish will teach her child about the cycle of life, she explained. Goldfish don't last very long. I took my goldfish home and named it Goldie like every other kid in the world who thought they were being original. But it turned out that Goldie was kind of original. Because Goldie didn't die. Even after all my classmates' fish had gone to the great fishbowl in the sky, Goldie was still alive. Still alive when I started kindergarten. Still alive in first. Still alive in second grade and third and fourth. Then, finally, last year in fifth grade, I went into the kitchen one morning and saw my fish floating upside down in the bowl. My mom groaned when I told her. He didn't last very long, she said. What are you talking about, I asked. He lasted seven years. She gave me a smile and said, <laughs> Ellie, that wasn't the original Goldie. The first fish only lasted two weeks. When he died, I bought another one and put him in the bowl. There have been a lot of fish over the years. What number was this one? Unlucky 13, she said with a wry look. They were all unlucky, I pointed out. We gave Goldie 13 a toilet bowl funeral and I asked my mom if we could get a dog. Stay tuned for chapter two in the next video.